And these are, uh, I'll tell you, there are quite a bit, there's quite a bit of uh, journal entries here. So this is what they had. They issued 100,000 of 6% bonds. This is the detail on June 1 and December 1st. First year, they're using a budget here. Estimated, whenever you see the word estimated and appropriation, those are what called budgetary accounts. Do you record budgetary accounts? No, in governmental activities, none. Why is it 11? It's 6,000 of interest payment and 5,000 of, of principal, yeah. Now, um, this goes on through a whole cycle. And um, I'm afraid if I go through this whole thing, you're going to fall asleep. Because there are quite a few. There are like at least 20 slides here. Um, but if you can bear with me, just try to follow some of these, OK? Debt service fund receives cash from the general fund. Debt service fund receives cash from the general fund. But you see, why does it show up in the governmental activities? It's all taking place within the family. Governmental activities are government-wide. You know where it says governmental activities? Just in your head, think about government-wide, OK, if you have problems with that, with that term. That's why there is stuff going on between interfund within the governmental side so we don't record it in governmental activities. Interest payment is made. Notice how we showed not just expenditure, we label it as bond interest. And we show instead of expenditure, we show what? Expense. They get another $8,000 from the general fund. This is how they spend the next one. Classic entry. Credit cash, show each of the components separately. Same thing here, a little bit different. Now we call it expense, and we are amortizing this because we are debiting a payable, reducing the serial bonds. Adjusting entry at the end of the year, notice the accrual of interest on the full accrual basis. One month of accrual of interest. Interest is not accrued in the debt service fund since it's not due on December 31st. Important. Anyone not understand that? And this is the closing entry that occurs. That's the complete cycle of journal entries. And then you can just keep on going year after year. But it's the same entry. It's just the amounts are different. And what happens is when you you close the budgetary accounts, and you close these accounts, and you're left with, at the end of the year, zero. There's nothing left in the debt service fund. Okay. Term bond, we'll go through this. I, um, by the way, on the term bond, I'm not going to hold you responsible for the calculation on term bond. So you can write that down. If I forget, remind me, OK? But I'm not going to hold you responsible for the calculations for term bonds. Because they do use, you do need to be uh, very comfortable with doing uh, calculations, financial calculations. <coughs> not that I don't expect you to, but I think you probably will learn this better in a class, in a finance class than in an accounting class. <coughs> This is how, uh, this is to just to give you an example. See how this, these guys came up with this example? They put in each year 17389. These are the earnings that they expect to make. And at the end, they'll have 100,000. But what are the chances of their making exactly 7% each year? Not very good, right? It could be more, it could be less, but it all ends up where? at the end. So that's why people don't like to do this. But see how we calculate the, uh, the present value just by taking the, the factor and dividing it to 100,000? It just gives that to us immediately. 
And then, as I said, I won't hold you uh, on this or the journal entries required because they are uh, different. They change from year to year, the amounts. This is the first year it comes in and is spent. Remember, interest is paid regardless whether it's term or serial bond. You have to pay interest. It's just the principle that you don't have to worry about with uh, term bonds. And these amounts, as you can see, are invested investments and goes on. Let me see where we end with this. Um, does this just go on for a while here? We'll go to slide 42. Okay, special assessment debt. Um, just a quick note. 